I rise today to offer an amendment that will keep America's energy economy growing and keep good paying jobs coming to gas producing regions across the country, including western Pennsylvania. The natural gas boom is transforming local economies across the country and is creating a new wave of opportunity for hardworking Americans who want to earn a living and provide for their families. American ingenuity has empowered us to safely harness tremendous energy resources, turning the United States into a breakout success story as the world's top natural gas producer. Countries in Europe and Asia, many of which are our allies, are eager to tap this abundant supply of affordable American energy. They consider America to be a much more attractive business partner and a safer alternative to their reliance on energy-rich countries like Russia. Given the abundance of domestic natural gas resources, especially in the Marcellus Shale region, American energy companies are eager to accept more business and stand ready to fulfill the global demand. We must do everything we can to help energy producers succeed so they can continue to grow, hire more workers, and bring prosperity back to American cities. Congress must work to lift barriers to energy exports and help domestic energy producers cut through the bureaucratic red tape that threatens to put a stranglehold on continued economic growth. My amendment seeks to eliminate unnecessary challenges to these increased energy exports on, on environmental grounds. Specifically, my provision would prevent the Department of Energy from using its report entitled Life Cycle Greenhouse Gas Perspective on Exporting Liquefied Natural Gas in any public interest determination under the Natural Gas Act. There are legitimate concerns that this DOE report and many of its arbitrary de determinations may now be used to slow walk or completely block much needed liquefied natural gas export approvals. Identical language was proposed and included in last year's energy and water, re energy and, water and related agencies appropriations bill by then representative Bill Cassidy from Louisiana. I'd like to thank Chairman Simpson for his hard work and support, and I urge all my colleagues who are supporting an all of the above approach to American energy independence to vote yay on the amendment so we can keep our energy sector booming.